this is the worst movies of 2017. These are the worst of the worst, and I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. <music> Baywatch was directed by the same guy who brought us Horrible Bosses. It was written by the guys who brought us Night at the Museum. Freddy vs. Jason. Did they do Friday the 13th? Yeah, they did do Friday the 13th. Um, this film just, it felt like it was written by 12-year-olds. Uh, Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron had zero chemistry. Just, the jokes were just horrible. Maybe had maybe one redeeming quality. Maybe, maybe. But just all around just boring. <laughs> The Snowman, I sat in a theater wondering what the hell this movie's about. I know it's based on a novel by uh, Joe Nespo and has a character who, by the name of Harry Hole. I literally thought I heard it wrong and then I had to go and IMDB it. And the character's name literally is Harry Hole. 2017, ladies and gentlemen, we can change it to Harrison Hole. I guess I I I, I don't know. Harry Hole is one of the worst names. I'm not I'm not even getting to it. Michael Fassbender played him. Um, I'm not gonna fault Michael Fassbender because he tried to give it his all. He's a fantastic actor, but this was just a shitty movie. Horrible movie. The simple fact that Martin Scorsese was the executive producer on this film made it even more worse. The simple fact that Thomas, uh, sorry, Tomas Alfredson, uh, the same guy who brought us uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, was the director of this film made it even horrible. The simple fact that they were missing 15% of this film, which is the reason why it felt very choppy as I was watching the film made it even more worse. I don't even know why I don't even have this higher up on the list, but I figured that there were actually more films that were worse than this, and it was. <music> Number eight is the sequel, I guess? Flatliners? I, I, don't, I don't know what this movie qualifies as. Sequel... Uh, a reimagining. I have no idea. All I know is it was boring. Um, spoiler alert: They kill off this main character, and they still, I believe, had maybe 30, 40 more minutes of this film. Yeah, they kill off Ellen Page. Why? I don't know. Why she decided to sign on for this? I do not know. Why they decided to make this film? I do not know. It was boring. There was no redeeming quality of it. Great cast. Shitty film. Period. Like, I was literally bored from start to finish. There was nobody you were rooting for for this film. I mean, there's not really any good character development. We don't know really much about these characters. Just pure shit. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to make this. It's rings. Paramount, why? Uh, uh, the, uh, why? I, I don't... I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what the... What, what I can say about this movie. What did, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio did this. Johnny Galecki did this. Uh, a cast of unknown people was in this film. I don't even remember what the hell the plot of this film was. Like, I was just invited to go see this well, with a friend of mine. Uh, he offered to pay for this film. All I know is, after I watched it, I was pissed. Mainly because I didn't have to pay for it, but the simple fact that I wasted about, I know, at least an hour and a half on this damn movie. It sucked. <music> the Mummy. I don't know what they were trying to do with this film. It was like a mixture between American Werewolf and London. At least it felt like it. Um, um, just... Again, chemistry is a very big concept, and you don't even really know if you want to root for Tom Cruise's character. Who am I kidding? You don't know. I, I don't know. 
<laughs> the whole Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing that they tried to put in this film just was out of place. Uh, what these people are doing makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, so it's Bia Botella was beautiful, as always, but that's just about it. They wasted Courtney B. Vance. Uh, Jake Johnson looked just out of place. I, I mean, just working with Tom Cruise just looked very out of place. You, you don't really know. Uh, I just, I don't know. Uh, again, with rings and flatliners, I don't know and understand why the hell they decided they want to you know, either reimagine, remake, or reboot something that really shouldn't have been rebooted. I'm glad that it put a damper in the Dark Universe, because let's just be brutally honest, the Dark Universe doesn't need this. Period. Sorry. Number five is Fifty Shades Darker. Do I need to say more? Do I really need to say more? It's Fifty Shades Darker. It's Fifty Shades. <laughs> Why I decided to go see this, I don't know. Oh, it was $5. That's that's the reason why. I, I just needed to get out of the house, and I also needed a laugh. A couple years ago, you guys remember when I talked about Fifty Shades of Grey, and Fifty Shades Darker is not any different. Number four is a movie I was really surprised they even remotely did. Uh, Monster Trucks? Paramount Paramount did not have a good year this year. All their movies did not do good at all. Downsizing just came out. I haven't even seen it, and I heard uh, bad things about it. Paramount, I don't know what the hell you guys were doing this year, but you, you were not on your game this year at all. Your movies sucked this year. I really hope in 2018 your films are much better. Um... Monster Trunks was embarrassing. The simple fact that this movie cost as much as it may to make it, I don't understand. Chris Wedge, who is the director of the Ice Age film, is the director of this colossal heap of junk. I, I don't I don't even know where to start. Danny Glover was in this. I was surprised to see Danny Glover in this. Why they did this? I don't know. I don't know. There was, again, there were so many movies that came out this year. I do not know why the... F I don't know why you guys made this. I really don't. I... <laughs> Monster Trucks was embarrassing. Uh, I don't know if he was a shark. I don't know if he was a turtle. Uh, a squid that had these tentacles that can go into a truck. He, I, I don't know... What this was, how it got greenlit, I do not know. It's not going to be a cult favorite. It's going to be one of those movies they look at and go, what the hell were you thinking? That's what Monster Trucks was. Monster Trucks sucked. It sucked. And that's number four. So that means there were three other films that sucked way worse than this. Okay. Number three, again, is another Paramount film, and I was not really surprised that it was going to be on my list, but I was very surprised that it was actually going to be very high up my list, and that was Transformers The Dark Knight. I'm sorry, Transformers The Last Knight. The point of the matter is, this movie was born from start to finish. On behind the scenes look, it looked like it was going to be way better than the other Transformers movies, but then when you actually go and see this movie, it is horrible. <laughs> horrible. There are no words to describe how horrible this is. Stanley Tucci is back, but he's playing a different character than the character that he played in the last film. He's playing Merlin, and it's just cringy. The film was just horrible. I just... It's just bad, people. Uh, oh, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Just, just don't watch it. Number two, uh, uh the Bye Bye Man. <laughs> why the hell did I? Uh, 
why did I why did I go and see these films? These are so horrible. <laughs> I don't even want to explain the Bye Bye Man. It was just a boring movie and bad horror tropes, bad writing, bad direction. Don't know how these movies got greenlit, but they did. Bye Bye Man. I just just I, I'm not even gonna make a bye bye joke. It's just wow. The number one film I hated this movie, I think everybody hated this movie, is the Emoji Movie. Yes, it's the Emoji Movie. I'm not surprised. Nobody's surprised. Emoji Movie sucked. It sucked. It sucked. It sucked. It sucked. I got a free ticket uh, from a friend of mine who did not want to see it, so I took his niece to go see this movie. She didn't like it. She was bored. I didn't like this movie. I was bored. We went right across the street to Baskin Robbins and had a better freaking time there than watching this piece of shit movie. Emoji movie needs to burn in the depths of hell. This movie freaking sucked. Oh my god. Alright. Well, I'm done. Um, if you like my best and worst of 2017, uh, list, please like, comment, and share, subscribe, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Courtney Rico Harris reminding you guys to love one another, and no matter what life may bring you, never forget, be wise, be inspired, be intelligent, but most importantly, be you. <sighs> I think I need a drink. <laughs> See you guys later. Peace. Come home, you hungry boys are out in the back. I thought I'd pounce you all day, thought I'd had an attack. Put down your suitcase, so happy you're here. Tell me everything new, babe. Give me some of that, yes, dear. Can't walk, can't walk in my shoes, babe. Shoes, babe.